let's solve this question next what does the question say 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 7 okay there are a lot of tan inverse in the left hand side but there's a single tan inverse on the right hand side so what are we supposed to do over here oh, what next we'll have to combine these tan inverse to simplify the result right let's do it let's do it now the result that we are aware of is that tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse x plus y over 1 minus x y where x comma y greater than 0 and x into y is less than 1. This is one important result. You remember one more result based on this when x and y are equal. If x and y is equal that is y equals x we have another result right. What is that? This becomes tan inverse x plus tan inverse x which is 2 tan inverse x which will be equal to tan inverse of 2x over 1 minus x square. This is another result which is given in the NCRT itself, right? What is important over here is that, mind you, the product of xy, that is x square is less than 1. Less than 1 and you can also say that x is greater than 0. This is what you can say, right? x greater than 0. Since there is only an x involved, there is x greater than 0 and x square is less than 1. This is what you have. This is next result, right? Is that okay? That's pretty much okay. What happens in case of x less than 0? Mind you, for x less than 0, what you can simply do is you can take a minus out from here itself. You can use tan inverse minus x equals tan inverse x. Okay. And what will happen in this right hand side? The right hand side, in this right hand side, also similar thing will happen. That is minus will come out over here. Oh, so you can actually cancel out those minuses. So this particular result may be true for x less than, is also true for x less than 0. This is also true for x less than 0. But remember this along with this. Mind you, this true, this result is true for x less than 0 as well, wherein x square should be less than 1. This is still important. This is still important, but x less than 0 can also work over here. So, if you are remembering this result, then a similar result can be remembered in this manner. Or, you can skip that x less than 0, x greater than 0 over here, since x less than 0 will not make much of a difference in the final result, in the final result. So therefore, the NCRT people only talk about this one. They don't talk about this. Right. But for memorizing on the basis of this, yeah, you can. Will not make a difference, right? I said minus and minus will come out and the result would be exactly the same. So what next? Let's try to begin this question now. We have 2 tan inverse x, that is 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 over there. Let's begin with the LHS. 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 7 is what we have and this 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 can be written as tan inverse 2 times 1 by 2 that is 2x over 1 minus x square that is 1 by 2 whole square. Since 1 by 2 is greater than 0 and 1 by 2 square is 1 by 4 which is less than 1 this right since this is true therefore this result holds. Therefore, we have applied this tan inverse 2x over 1 minus x square. What happens to this tan inverse 1 by 7? This will remain as it is. This will remain as it is. We have used that result. This will convert to tan inverse of this is 1 over 1 minus 1 by 4 which is 3 by 4. This will become 4 by 3 in the bracket plus tan inverse 1 by 7. Observe this carefully. 1 minus 1 by 4 is actually 3 by 4. Reciprocal would be 4 by 3. And after reaching this stage, you see this is positive, this is positive. What is the product of these numbers? 4 by 3 times 1 by 7 is 4 by 21. 4 by 21, is it less than 1? Yes, it is less than 1. Can I apply that result? Yes, I can apply that result. This will imply tan inverse x plus y is tan, tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is tan inverse x plus y. Over 1 minus x, y. This is what you get. Let's simplify it further. That's the formula application is done. And only calculations remain after this. What is this? 28 plus 3 over 21 in the denominators will get cancelled. This is 21 minus 4. What is this? This is tan inverse of 31 over 17, which is my 
RHS and yes, that's the complete proof of this question over here. That's the complete solution using these two results and that's all for this question.